Hello everyone and welcome to iMovie Basics with me, Rita Allen. In this video, I want to go over some basic techniques in working with iMovie. I will be using iMovie version 10.1.1. To learn the basics, I will be discussing three topics to help you get familiar with using the iMovie app on the Mac. The training topics are importing, editing, and sharing. Let's get started. Go ahead and open iMovie if you haven't already. The icon for iMovie looks like a purple star. If you're having trouble locating it, go to your spyglass at the top right of your computer screen and perform a search for it. The next step is to create a container to hold our project and content. We need a cookie jar for the cookies that will soon come out of the oven. The cookies would be the videos and or photos we want to use in our movie. This container is called an event in iMovie. To create an event, make sure that iMovie library is selected in the left hand sidebar. It should be blue or gray to let you know that it's highlighted. Then go to File at the top left of the computer screen and choose New Event. If you look on the left hand side, you should see today's date and that's giving you an opportunity to label the event. I will name the event practice, but you can call it whatever you want. Now that we have our container, let's place some footage inside of it. We have multiple ways to add media to our event. We could go to File and choose Import Media from the list, or we could click on the Import Media button that has the downward facing arrow. We should see it in possibly more than one place on the iMovie window. We should all see the same window after choosing either option. So I'm going to click on the Import Media button here. And now we are presented with the import window. On the left, I can choose to use the FaceTime or built-in camera and start recording immediately. If you use a separate camera or plug in an SD card, it will also be listed on the left for you to select. Click on the icon that looks like a little house. This is your home folder. It will show all the folders that are on the computer. That way, if you already have a video stored on the computer, you can import it into your event. Just select the clip that you want to import. And then at the bottom right hand corner, click the Import Selected button. And that will bring your video into your event. If you don't have any videos or if this is your first time opening iMovie, use the FaceTime camera to create some content to work with. Click on the red button to record. Click on the red button again to stop when you're done. Then press the close button at the bottom right hand corner to bring it into your event. Another way of getting content is by taking media from the photos library, which is on the left side of the iMovie window. This will allow us to retrieve any photos or videos that have been imported previously into the photos app. Double click on an album to open it up. To add a photo or video to the event, click and drag the photo or video to the left to the event's name. In our case, it's practice. Let go when you're done. We will pretend that the photos are our cookies and we're adding them to the cookie jar. Continue to add as many photos or videos that you may need 
to your event. Click on the event on the left, which is practice, so that we can see how much content we have so far. Any photos will have an icon of a camera on it. Otherwise, you can assume everything else is a video. Now that we have some media into our event, let's start editing our movie. Go to File at the top left of the screen and choose New Movie. You will be prompted to choose a theme, but for now we will not use a theme. Click the Create button at the bottom right corner. Give your movie a name. Click OK. If you want to follow along with me, you can choose the same name, but you don't have to. All right, so there should now be an empty bottom half to your window. This is called the timeline, and it's where we're going to do all our editing. The top right area is called the viewer. It contains options right above it for editing video. The top left area is the event area. This is where we will pull our content in order to make our video. To add media to the timeline, click and drag the video or photo from the event area down to the timeline. You can also click on the plus sign to add the photo or video. The plus sign will automatically add it so that you don't have to drag it down and it will always add it towards the end. So if I press this plus button here, it should add that picture at the end of our timeline. So I'm going to press it. Any media that you do not want on the timeline, you can just click on it and press the delete button on the keyboard. Photos are automatically given a four second duration. I personally do not like how four seconds is represented space wise on my timeline right now. It's like a, a long rectangular shape. If I know that I will have several clips to work with, I may want to look at those clips um, maybe in a smaller type of shape. To change that, click and drag on the slider on the right next to settings. I'm clicking and dragging towards the left and notice how my clips are now smaller looking but they are still four seconds a piece. To add video to your timeline, you have two options. You can select the entire clip by double clicking on it, or you can highlight what portion of the clip you would like to bring down. So I'm going to click and drag, and notice how it's telling me how long or what the duration is of whatever I've selected. I'll get about seven seconds. And I can either drag it down or hit the little plus button. I'm just going to click and drag. And now we have some media to work with. After adding media to the timeline, you will notice little breaks between your clips. We can use these breaks to add or insert items to our movie. One example of an item that we can add is transitions. Transitions allow us to go from one clip to another using some sort of special effect. You may have seen transitions before while making a presentation. Uh, maybe you saw that in some presentation software like PowerPoint or Keynote. 
they have the same purpose here in iMovie. The option for transition should be located at the top of your screen. If you do not see it there, it may be in the bottom left hand corner of the iMovie window. Uh, that may be the case if you have an earlier version of iMovie. Once you click on transitions, there will be various types of transitions available for you to choose from. To see a demo of the transition, just swipe the cursor from left to right, and in the viewer you will see a demonstration of how that transition looks. When you find a transition that you like, click and drag the transition to one of the breaks in your timeline. The transition will turn into an hourglass symbol. If you double click on a transition in the timeline, you can also change the duration of the transition. You can also create breaks or split clips up manually if you wish. Maybe there is a place where you would like to add a transition or you need to remove a portion of a clip. Make sure your playhead is in the location where you would like the split to occur. Then right click and you will get an option to split clip. If you do this a second time, then you will have a separated clip that you can either delete or add some transition in its break. After adding one or more transitions, let's watch our video. Bring the cursor to the beginning of the timeline and click. That will put the playhead, which is this long line here with the triangle at the top, at the beginning. Now press the spacebar on your keyboard to watch the video in the viewer. You can also use the spacebar to pause at any point while watching your video. Next let's look at titles. Titles allow us to add text to any point in our video. There are two ways of adding titles that I want to show you. The first way is by going to Titles and clicking and dragging a title to any break in your timeline, just how we did with the transitions. After getting the title into the position you want, you will replace the text with your own in the viewer at the top right. After typing the text, click the blue circle with the check mark at the top right to let iMovie know that you're finished typing. The duration or how long you see the text can be changed by bringing your cursor to the edge of the title clip. This purple box represents that title clip and if I bring my arrow to the edge I will see two arrows and I can click and drag to the left to shorten the duration or go to the right to extend the duration. The second way of adding a clip is to bring it right on top of another clip. So I'm going to select one and drag it right on top of a clip. In this case, it's our photo from earlier. And I'm going to let go. And notice in the viewer is still waiting for me to give it some kind of title. Click the blue checkbox like before to set everything into place. This will show text and video or photo at the same time.
So now my text is layered on top of this photo here. Once you added some titles, you can edit the text same as before, and that includes changing the duration. So I can bring my cursor to the edge here and shorten the amount of time that the text will appear with this photo. Let's look at the backgrounds option at the top left. You will see maps first, so be sure to scroll down in that area to see the backgrounds. Just like with transitions and titles, we click and drag the background to a break in our timeline. Backgrounds are neat because we can add the background and then layer a title on top of that. So we're going to do exactly that. I will pick the red background and then I'm going to go get a title and drag that title on top of the clip that's the background clip. In my viewer, I'm going to type something in. Once done, I'm going to click on the blue circle checkbox. I want to change the duration of the text because it's kind of sticking out longer than how much background that I have. Let's play it from the beginning. So bring the cursor to the beginning, click on it, and press the space bar to watch. All right, space bar to pause. The last part of the editing that I want to cover is the audio option at the top left. The audio option allows us to add music or sound effects to our video. After selecting the audio area, you should see a list of songs from your iTunes library, if you have any. When you click on a song, you will see a long green bar right above the list of songs available. This green area allows us to choose which part of a song we would like to use in our video. Click and drag over the portion that you would like to use and then click and drag that portion down at the bottom of our timeline. It is important to make sure that the audio for the entire movie isn't attached to one particular clip, like here. We see a little stem sticking out. The reason is because if we delete the clip, and the audio is attached to it, the audio will be deleted as well. Also, if we continue to add media to the timeline, the song will automatically extend based on how long the song is. So I'm going to detach. If I look at the green area that represents my song, I notice that it's shorter than my actual video. So I'm going to bring my arrows to the edge and extend. This will only work if you have enough music to cover your video. Last but not least, let's talk about sharing. iMovie gives us several different ways to share our movie. At the top right, look for the share button, which is a box with an arrow pointing upward. Click on it to see the different options. Let's choose the file option. Choosing file will give you a copy of your movie as an actual file that you can share elsewhere like on a flash drive or upload to your Google Drive. Click the next button at the bottom and choose a destination on your computer. Click save. 
we will get in the top right a little progress circle that lets you know how long it's going to take to process. Once the progress circle is filled, that'll let you know that your movie is done processing. Use Finder to locate your video. All right, that's it for the iMovie basic training video. Please feel free to share this video with anyone who needs to get started in iMovie. I will make other videos that will go deeper into other parts of iMovie, but for now, this should get you started. Good luck!